Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. It's of a patient who happens to also be a medic. They are a doctor at our local hospital in Leicester, the Leicester Royal Infirmary, and they are a doctor on the acute medical ward. So the acute medical ward is where it's obviously very uh, acute conditions, very serious conditions that are transferred from um, accident and emergency a &E. And the patient has this chronic problem in the right ear uh, where they've suffered from bacterial ear infection, infections. And you can just see here, there's a lot of dead skin, debris. And when you've got a lot of dead skin like this, it's white in colour, you get a lot of reflection from the endoscope. So I just turn the exposure down a bit just to reduce that reflection, which can be counterproductive at times. You can see that dead um, layer of de uh, keratin that I've just removed there. Now, the patient's ear was very tender upon attending. They were suffering from otalgia, which is earache. So, um, bless her, because it's just a chronic condition. Um, they do get a bit... Uh, it's the first time they come to myself, but um, historically, um, when they've had it treated, they were just a bit anxious. Um, uh, so, we're just going to be as gentle as possible with the patient. And slowly but surely, we're removing this. I'm using a fine end gauge. So you've removed, I've, I've actually removed the, the occlusion, that's the eardrum. Now, the ear is still infected, they have um, been prescribed some antibiotics. They've, they've had some, a course of oral antibiotics, which hasn't really been successful. Uh, therefore, now they've also been prescribed some topical um, uh, antibiotics in the form of eardrops. And you can see just here where I'm wearing, there's a bit of granulation tissue there. So granulation tissue is... Uh, typical with um, some types of ear infections or trauma to the ear canal or eardrum and the ear is trying to heal itself here and you've got a formation of connective tissue that's forming and that connective tissue also then develops its own blood su supplies, its own blood vessels, hence why it's red. That will settle down with the antibiotics. Now, I've just got to be careful because you can just see the bottom left there, that's the, that's the granulation tissue and the endoscope is approaching that. It's in a really awkward position, that granulation tissue, and I want to avoid touching that because that can be a bit uncomfortable for the patient who's already finding the ear tender. So I'm just working slightly further away from the eardrum than I would like with the endoscope. I'd like to push the endoscope a bit slightly further in. But I just really want to avoid making contact with the granulation tissue. But I'm still able to remove the dead skin. Um, so the bits around the edge on the side, uh, that's just dead skin formation on the canal wall. It's not actually debris. So we're going to leave that because I don't want to, as I said, um, cause any uh, discomfort to the patient. So I'm just removing these large flaps of dead skin deeper in the ear, off the eardrum, because the idea of today, really, the patient's got medication, and they're going to be using that medication, but the ear's blocked, so we want to unblock the ear so they can hear again. And that's the objective of the procedure, and that's what we've managed to achieve. So I was just really careful that I came close to the granulation tissue. Just going back in, and you can see the eardrum say, uh, the condition's otitis externa, but they have had a, a, a swab a test, and it is a bacterial infection. This is just the patient's left ear. I just thought I'll take a, a, a quick video of that and show you guys there, so you can see there, ear canal's clear, there's no infection, but there is a, a history of infection on that side, as you can tell, the eardrum's slightly scarred, and there's a bit of scar tissue there, tympanosclerosis. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're keeping well and safe. I shall speak to you all soon. Bye.